Welcome to Mage to Kadas episode 4. In this episode we're going to wrap up the Around Plugin mini-series and we're going to create an integration test that checks our plugin actually works correctly together with the core code, as expected. Along the way we're going to use some of the tools the integration test framework provides, which will be very useful in the Kadas to come. If you have any feedback or if, you, if there are any topics you would like to see, please leave me a comment or tell me on Twitter. Um, I have plenty of ideas, but I'm not quite sure about the order. Anyway, first, have fun with this episode. All right, let's get started with episode four, the plugin integration test kata. In this kata, we want to build an integration test for the customer repository plugin. And in this integration test, we're going to use the real classes. So it's not just an integration test for the configuration, and it's not a unit test mocking away all external dependencies. In this kata, we want to use the real classes and check our external plugin gets called whenever a customer is being saved. And I'm going to add this new test to the existing integration test class that we created during the plugin config kata. I just did the katas again, so the code might look a little bit different from the previous videos. The new test goes into the class Customer Repository Plugin Integration Test. So to start, let's give it a name. Test the external customer API is called when new customer is saved. Well, that'll work. To save a customer, what do we need? We need a customer and we need the repository. Let's first start with the customer repository. And we'll use the object manager to create the instance. Customer repository interface class. Add a type hint. OK. So next we need a customer we can save. We could just instantiate a customer model populated with all the data required so we can save it without getting an exception, but that's actually more work than I want to do for this test. I just want a valid customer data model of a new customer. And fortunately, Magento does provide an easy way to get that. In the Magento core integration tests, a lot of the test suites contain fixtures. We can find them in these underscore files directories. And there's one fixture, customer.php, within the customer module. We can see it just creates a customer model, sets some data, and saves it. It even creates a repository instance, even though it's not used. Let's use this customer with this email, customer at example.com, in our test. To apply this kind of data fixture, we can use a PHP doc annotation. It's at Magento data fixture. And then we specify the file system path to the file relative to the directory test suite. So in our case that is magento slash customer slash underscore files slash customer dot php. And now Magento will apply this data fixture before the test is executed so we can know this customer exists. So next let's get the customer. Repository get and that's by email customer at example dot com. Now we've got a customer to save, so let's do that. Of course, this isn't going to stay this way. This is an existing customer, but I like to check everything works so far. Now, I'll run this test. And we're green. This is only the case because our plugin is not applied in global scope. It's only applied in web API REST scope. So let's make the test execute in the web API REST scope. Set area, area, web API REST. We run the test, and what happens? This time it'll fail. And here we go. And it fails because our plugin is called, which requires the external API, which doesn't exist. Now we could go ahead and implement that class, of course, but I don't really want to do that right now, because we don't have any specs for the external API. In a real project, I probably would make that an interface. But for this kata, let's go ahead and mock the external API again, even though this is an integration test. So this integration test will be real classes except the API. 
mock customer API. Well, let's call it external customer API. This get mock external customer API class. And I'll copy that for later. Oh, and we'll need to specify the method here. Register new customer, copy that also. So now we've got our customer API, but now we somehow need to tell Magento that every time it needs the API, please use this instance. And we can do that by telling the object manager the customer API is a shared instance. So we're going to call object manager configure to expand the existing configuration. The configuration that applies when a customer API should be created, we will set the property shared to true. So now if we add our mock external customer API as a shared instance, it will be used. Let's rerun the tests. It will no longer fail. Here we go. All right, now our test is doing quite a lot, but it isn't a real test yet. There is no assertion. So let's change that. Let's go ahead and add an expectation to our mock. So I want to add the expectation that our mock customer API expects this once that the method register new customer is going to be called. So now the test will fail again. And why is it failing? Well, the expected method isn't being called. It's not being called because our customer here is an existing customer. The customer exists. Right, where was it? The customer has an ID, it has a name, John A. Smith, right? This Mr. Smith is an existing customer, so the API isn't called. So we have to tweak the customer model a little bit to make it a new customer. Let's assume John A. Smith's little sister is a new customer. So first of all, we have to set the ID to null and to make it a new customer, that actually is enough. However, we also want to set a new email address so we don't get a duplicate email address validation error when saving. And just to complete the picture, basically just for fun, I also want to set the first name. Alice. Now, if we rerun the test, our method should be called, and we should be back to green. And we are. Great. Wonderful. One last note before it's time to wrap it up. This data fixture annotation here. This causes the integration test framework to run our test in the scope of a database transaction. And the transaction is automatically rolled back after the test. So even though we start the test with one customer and then we save another one, once the test is completed and the transaction is rolled back, no trace is left in the database. So if a fixture is used, test isolation is automatically maintained. So this completes this kata and the plugin. As always, let's go ahead and delete everything. I hope you liked it. I hope you learned something. If so, please leave a thumbs up. If you have any questions or if you find a bug, please leave a comment or reach out to me on Twitter. Thank you for watching.